Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And right here, this video is for my high conscious people. My high conscious people. Because look, right now we have a lot of stories that's built upon night and day, light and dark. You see what I'm saying? And what you need to understand is light and darkness are not opposites. So just think about all the stories that's built up under that. You got people who, who got, and they, they add their religious texts, and people, they add so much energy onto their spirit with, with these things. Now, check this out. When you look at light or darkness, and, and think about all the things that we attach to, well, not me, but you guys attach to that, as far as angel, devil, positive, negative, male, female, um, you know what I'm saying? God, devil, um, lightness, darkness. Lightness represents goodness. Darkness represents evil. Um, and then they're not even opposites. Not even in the yin realm. Not even in the vibrational realm. These are not even opposites. So all these stories ha have to crumble. And then now we have to take it a step further. When people get into their religious texts and get into their Bibles and things of that nature, this, they even preach the same thing. Anytime you hear something talking about uh, in, in the beginning God created this in this day in this day any anytime something got days which is a maze any or days getting knocked out a slumber anything that's talking about a day or a structure or a pattern is man-made is woman-made you see what I'm saying and it's, it's based upon calculations so a man or a woman calculated God a man or a woman calculated the Bible a man or a woman is calculating actions and events of energies and then putting meanings and reasons behind them relating to themselves so you see what I'm saying so anytime you get a Bible or something like that it, it or or anytime somebody trying to tell you something is created it kind of make you it give you the energetic force of something was created for something so you start adding meanings and reasons to it like oh this was created for us this was created for this this was created for us and then you get two concepts you get the chaotic concept where Scientists just think, just think everything was created out of pure chaos. Then you get the creation people. Nah, something has to be created. And then they both get wrong. You see what I'm saying? Would you, this is what you need to understand. Lightness and darkness are not opposites. So, what you need, to, if you understand astrology and understand metaphysics and energy a little bit to a certain degree, then you will understand that everything is traveling and what you're witnessing is basically just a relationship between two objects and and you don't even know what's going on in that relationship but you're tying meaning and reasoning to that relationship and making it relate to you in some type of way same way you could witness some some two people in a relationship and you you come up with all kind of reasons why they in a fucked up or a good relationship right but you truly don't know what's going on in their relationship you just know what's relative to you. So, I say that to say this. When we talk about night and day, all these stories and religious things that y'all put onto things, or oh, you in the darkness, you evil, or you, listen, or, or you lost in, dar in darkness. It's not even supposed to be perceived like that. The only reason you perceiving it like that is because you, you are too lost into the physical and you're too lost into what you learned from man and woman. And you think you're not learning from man and woman by learning from them. And you're just bouncing off of them. Where I'm Archangel Uriel. So if you understand energy a little bit, you understand that there's actually, there's no such thing as day. Days. A day is, a day is just something we're trying to correlate to. You know what I'm saying? So look, erase, erase your concept of a day in your mind. Like in the 24 hours and you erase that concept. This is how you're supposed to look at it. It's always nighttime. So that's the only day. Now this little light source, this little illusion or this light that you think you are seeing, right? All we did was, now I don't get them terms and conditions, but all humans did was calculate the pattern of when they see that light. But really, would, would you see it in the sky? You're just seeing atmosphere and the light blocking, the, uh, the, the light bouncing off what's in the atmosphere and that's blocking you from actually seeing the true sky. You see what I'm saying? So it's just the, the light is just bouncing and it's not even supposed to be perceived as light. With the darkness and light is two different things. They're not opposites. They're two different things. So you're supposed to look at it like it's always nighttime and this little sun or whatever you think is just something that's traveling and, and it, when it passes your location, it just blocks your day. It blocks your ability to see the sky. Then it travels. And you know this because this is... 
the morning or the sunrise to and the sun is not truly rising or or going down anywhere you see what i'm saying what you're witnessing is just the relationship between two objects and you're, you're trying to make it relate to you by giving it meanings of reasonings you see what i'm saying when you need to understand that you know this because your morning is different for, from someone else in another geographical location morning you know what I'm saying? Your day progresses different. This is why the time is different and things of that nature. To go by your theology, everything will have to be daytime at the same time and nighttime at the same time. But it's not based upon geographical location. So this gets you to understand that it's always nighttime. Just whenever it's daytime based upon your location, that's when something is coming blocking your view of the sky. So that's how you're supposed to look at it. You're not supposed to look at it as night or day. You're supposed to look at it like it's always the day. It's always night. It's just when whatever you seeing that you think is daytime, that's just the time of the day that this that this being or this light source is creating some kind of illusion for you. And then and then it passes and go do that somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're supposed to look at it. You're not supposed to look at it as because you know what I'm saying you got to think about it. What, what makes 24 hours a day? Like what? 48 hours could be a day, or this could be a day. The only reason you're calculating it a day is because of the the relationship between these two objects, and based upon how you perceive it and all the meanings or reason that you put behind it. Oh, we can see in the daytime, so the daytime is for this, that, and the third. And then the light is good and this, that. And then, oh, at nighttime we can't see. So at nighttime is for us to sleep. And this, that, and the third. All these is built off things onto your spirit to keep you in a pattern. You see what I'm saying? You need to understand that, no, it's always nighttime. It's always nighttime. Just because you need to erase what you think is a day in your head. It's always nighttime. So if you are experiencing daytime or the morning or what you think is the morning or whatever like that, you're ex no, it's still nighttime. You're just experiencing the part of the the part of that the part of that whole day. You're just experiencing the time where this big ass light thing is over your location creating some type of form of illusion or something like that. You're just witnessing that part of the day. But the whole day is nighttime. It's always nighttime. It's just, it might be just your time of witnessing when this big ass light source is traveling your location of the world. That's how you look at it. You see what I'm saying? Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn air. So when you think about the old ancients and think about things, and when I when I first came here, we looked at it like, okay, let's get all our rainbow water. Or this is why you're able to see rainbows and things of that nature. Cause look, in the daytime, in the light, when the sun when the sun is in your area, your geographical location. So when the sun is in your area to block your sky and make you only see the and, uh, and make you only see what's illuminated based upon what you're made out of, so it can force you to realize what you're made out of and who made you. At the same time, it puts you in a situation where it, it's an illusion and make you think that. So for the most part. When the sun, when it, and it's over your location, whatever you think you're seeing as a, a light or an illusion, that's your blockage from seeing the rainbow ocean. So, remember what, like, everything is a wave, and two is being observed, so it, be, it become a particle. So it's like that on higher densities and lower densities. It becomes separated. So, you know, when we look at the space, space, that's all the colors in one, right? Now everything comes from white. White is void of all colors. So that's like the canvas. The sum had an emotional expression or something like that with each color. Each color came. Then once all the colors correlated and mixed and spiraled within each other, it appears as just all darkness or blackness to the smaller being within it. But at the same time, it's the rainbow ocean. But since you in one piece of the vibration frequency, right, when a light, aka the illusion, based upon the frequency is shining on, when when you when it the sun hit the sky and you are just only able to see what the sky is blocking what the sun is blocking you from seeing you you're only able to see the filters this is why you're able to see rainbows or pacific colors you're able to point out pacific colors of the whole wave together so you're you're able to perceive the smaller portions of it you see what i'm saying so you're in a smaller portion of it so as a whole, you're riding one frequency wave, one color spectrum of the of the rainbow ocean. You see what I'm saying? 
So that's all you're actually seeing. But you're just always in space. That's why when you quote unquote the sun is down or it's nighttime wherever you at. No, that is the day. Eight, there is no separation between you and everything else. You see what I'm saying? Understand that. Now, when the sun come back around, it makes you see all the filters that you are in relative to, every, relative to everything else. So you're able to see the separate spectrum or the color wave that you're in. But that's it. That's all. So it's always nighttime. And then whatever whatever you are think you are experiencing some daytime or light, you're just experiencing the, the time that the fucking the sun being is coming across your area of life and is blocking you off from the uh the firmament or is block is blocking you off from the um the rainbow waters and imaginations and things of that nature we used to try to hurry up and get shit done before the we used to run from the sun you see what i'm saying we used to hurry up and try to get as much imagination and much creativity done before the sun come because the sun is always going to show us what we're creating and, and if it's evil or, or or if it's good or whatever like that it creates the shape and form to attack us so that's how we that's how the first what are the first civilizations used to look not y'all civilizations i'm talking about as spirits when we came here that's how we used to look at it we used to run from the sun the sun was part of the things that was part of the, what while we had to formulate a body while we had to sustain ourselves the sun the sun was like like our death the sun was hell we used to run from that shit and hurry up and get what we have to do before some greater source come and shine a light on what we're doing and expose what we're doing and burn it up to the point that it's seen and what's seen has to go back to the white canvas realm you see what I'm saying and we can't we can't you see this is another video but I just need this is for my high consciousness people I'm gonna stop this video though flight boss bitch goddamn air